you look around you and it's just beautiful. I just kept thinking, wow, like this is this was here before me and hopefully gonna be here after me. And this beauty is just here making itself, you know, living with itself and growing with itself. And I'm just a visitor. The biggest lesson that I want to bring back really is to appreciate everything around me even more. Because when you're in the forest, you remove social media, you remove your stresses, because there's nothing else to do but live and survive and stay here. JES stands for Jungle Environment Survival Training. Ang survival skills ay nakadepende yan sa kaalaman mo sa gubat. Pag ang gubat gusto mo itong pasukin, kailangan yung uh, kahandaan ng sarili mo, katawan mo, yung inaasahan mo para dito na mangyari ay mangyayari. Pag meron kang survival knowledge, magagawa mo ito ng paraan yung makakain, maiinom, nandiri yan sa loob ng gubat. Hindi na kailangan kung may experience ka o wala. Basta yung kahandaan lang ng sarili mo, ng katawan mo, para mag-undergo ng training, ay malaya ka na makapag-training sa amin. Hi, hello, good morning. Welcome to our hunter-gatherer. My name is Eduardo Tolentino. watching Kuya Ed and you're just mesmerized. During the demo, he showed us how you can make your own food, how you can cook rice, make your own utensils from cups to plates to spoons and forks or sticks. And then for me, the biggest wow was when he made fire and it was just, it took so easy. He made it look so easy to start a fire. Yay! Obviously, it's kind of intimidating this guy with a knife. I kind of knew that it, he was making it look so easy. And that's definitely what I found out, or what we found out, when we tried to do it ourselves. Okay, guys, liko na tayo dito. Papasok na tayo sa gubat. Gubat! Let's go! Entering the forest. You're welcomed by like an entrance of trees. It looked like you were really entering um, a forest paradise. And you just started walking. Ooh. It's so relaxing here. It's so beautiful. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> As we walked down, I wasn't really thinking about how tired I was. And also because Kuya Ed would stop and pick up something new once in a while. Kuya Eduardo, he just gets lost in the jungle. So we're, we're walking with him. He's taking us off the path, going through the trees. For one minute, he just disappears and he comes back with something we can drink. Okay, guys, Dito, my water bind. Let's drink water. I don't think I can ever enjoy normal water again because this has just like really earth flavor. It's like lemon water. It tastes exactly like lemon water. We finally ended up in sort of a flatter area and it was the campsite. And it was a, it was a good feeling. It was like reaching a, a goal. I think we're here. I can hear the water, man. <laughs> yes, this is the Bhutan campsite. I want to go swimming! Let's swim. Let's swim. Swim? Yes, guys, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. It's so pretty. I saw that it was a beautiful campsite. The most exciting thing was I could hear the water. 
and I was already really, really, really excited to jump in the water the moment I got in the clearing. After that, it was about making it a home. So setting up the tents, um, getting food ready, lighting the fire. It's like Suma, no? Mmm, it's so hot. Oh my god. It's so good. I can't believe I'm currently eating out of a bamboo. And I don't know why, it tastes so much better. Sinagang tastes better out of bamboo. <laughs> mm. I'm setting a trap. Possible to cuts, wild chicken. I think it's amazing how they, how they can make traps from just like trees and stuff. They like look at where the animals are likely to go, decide that's a path that chickens and lizards will go down and then make a, make a trap there. That's a skill. No sudden movement. Really? So Kuya, when they step on this area... Like... It will push the trigger lock. The trigger will do like that. Can we, Can we test it? Hindi mo sakit ah? So Seriously, crazy. and then the more the more you try to like get rid of it, the tighter oh. it gets. Yeah. Trap and dinner. As we were making the traps, I cut my finger. Luckily after that, Queen Eduardo showed us the medicinal plants, so I was able to fix my boo-boo pretty quickly. Ang pangalan nito ay cobber grass. Hagonoy. Iroll mo lang sa palad mo, magpo-produce ng green juice. Oh. And also for big cut. Cool, I just cut myself. Uh, Seriously. Oh, oh. oh yeah, it stings. Yeah, it stings. Oh. Right. Oh. After the medicinal plants and um, how Kuya Edward was showing us how to make traps for animals, our final challenge for the day was to make fire. That, that was the challenge that I was really looking forward to because we've been going on about it for the whole day before getting into camp. Yung last task nyo for today ay gagawa kayo ng sarili nyong campfire para makapagluto kayo kung meron kayong lulutuin. Naipakita ko naman na ito kanina umaga. Siguro naman nakuha nyo. <laughs> Sana. We will try our best. Naniniwala ako sa kakayahan niya. Good luck, guys. Thank you. We have good nights. All right. Oh, I'm gonna put it here, okay? Um, Gayon. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Let me see you on. Go, guys. I had faith that among the three of us was, you know, we could have made a really good fire starter team. It's smoking. Yes. It's smoking. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. More, 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 Go, Gayab! Oh, shit! Okay. Blow, blow. No! Smoking. Blow. Open it. Open. There's no ambush. Oh, yeah. All that work. There was already smoke, there was already spark, but there was still no fire. Come on. Queer Eduardo made it look okay. so easy. He did it in a few seconds. So it is kind of disheartening when we're going for it and we're going as hard as we can and as fast as we can and then there's no fire. You start sweating, your arms get tired, your core starts getting really tired. I was getting really, really frustrated now. We're so, so, so close. 
Oh my gosh, Graham, you're so yeah. Well, quick. <laughs> and then we couldn't start it. And I was kind of losing hope. I think it took us about 12 tries or 15 tries before we actually got the hang of it. No! That's hot! <gasps> yeah, because the thing with your hands. This is hot. Oh. Can I still use this? We're getting closer. Yeah. Slowly. Nung 10, mga 10 tries na, hindi pa namin magawa. Let's take five minutes, let's rest, and then let's find out how to do it talaga. So we talked to Kuya Edward, ano ba yung technique, how to start the fire. How do you, Mara? So in the end, we asked for more help. And I think that was crucial because if we just kept going at the way we were going without realizing that sometimes you do need help, yeah. then yeah. there would be no fire and we would be eating raw food. <laughs> really? That's it. There you go. There's a little smoke. Okay. Two sock. One is too I don't remember my reaction. We cannot. I always believe that there's strength in numbers because we tried so many times. At first, like it was Cap Graham doing it, but pagod na siya si Cat naman, sa naman. But we found a way to do it that all three of us are working on that one goal. And when the task was divided to three, it wasn't that hard anymore because then it wasn't that tiring. And I think just like in life, you have to understand that you don't have to do things alone. No, la yung tiredness and frustration. Just because we achieved that one goal. So that was pretty amazing. Fire, dude. I can't stop staring at it. We made fire with sticks. We made that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So coming to an experience like this, when there's no outside distractions, it really just pulls you back and just lets you appreciate things more. There was so much joy in harvesting our own food, finding our own food, and then making it together. There was so much joy in something as simple as that. And when you're in the city and you have all that luxuries, you don't really think about it. Just the fact that when you're close to nature, it makes you happier. It gives you a clearer mind. You're away from a lot of distractions, and I think that's one of the most essential things, is to always make sure that no matter how busy you get, you always take time to appreciate something that's purely Mother Nature, and this is beautiful. part ako ng indigenous people or Aita from Butolan, Sambales. Proud na proud ako na napabilang ako 